Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, I was going through a lot of my books the other night and some of the things that I had documented through my life. And I remember a, a gentleman coming to me one day when we were actually talking about individual rights and everything else. And he looked at me and he said, well, he said, you know, African Americans, black people, really shouldn't have the rights. And I said, and I said, and I said, why? Why would you say that? He said, because you're a cursed people. That when you look at the story of Noah and the story of Ham, that Ham was cursed in the Bible and his skin was black. Now that was his interpretation of the Bible. But the thing was that individuals took that interpretation and they were able to then manipulate it, to frame it, to be able to justify decades of decades of decades of slavery. They were able to justify that if an individual, an African American, walked down the street and looked at a white woman, that they would be lynched. They could be shot, they could be killed. That individuals were actually killed, like Dr. King, like Malcolm, like Kennedy, and others because they said individuals have a right, a civil right. And I remember talking to individuals and growing up and being involved in the movement in the 60s when individuals looked at us and said that if you allow interracial marriage to let me be real clear, if you allow blacks to marry whites, then that would decay the moral fabric of this society, that individuals in this society would never be the same again. If you allow blacks to walk into a school and sit down with white children, that this would decay our educational system. If you allow blacks to walk in and sit at a that this would be God. The kid, because the individual convoluted what that actually meant. They didn't draw our clear line of demarcation between individuals' rights and the circumstances and the racism that was trying to prevail in this country. And I see them doing the same thing again. The issue isn't about civil union. The issue isn't about whether a black community or white. The issue is about rights. Dr. King fought for rights. The issue is about do we have the right to discriminate against anybody? That's what we're really voting on. We're voting on people's rights. What right do we have to give people's families? What right do we have to say who can love somebody? But we do have the right to make sure everyone has rights. We do have the right to make sure that we do not start another crusade against other people that cause individuals to die for decades after decades and decades that have repercussions even today. That have repercussions in schools, repercussions in churches because of what we did. The most segregated day in this country is on Southern border. On several levels. Because we did not have the strength to stand up like those who are not before us and say, there's a difference. And we're going to identify that difference. Because we're going to make sure everybody has their rights. We're going to make sure no one is discriminated against. There's people in this room that have went through discrimination, that have went through racism. Even when I was in middle school, it was back in that day, it was do not. But I had my counselor come to me and said, I care if you're right, but you're not smart enough to go any further in education. And to make a long story short, when I saw him later, it was really interesting how he told me 
He told all the black children to laugh. Because that's what he was under, he was conditioned to believe. That was his reference point. Because that he was brought up that way. I'm saying that this resolution again sends back to that type of mentality. Instead of standing up for what is right. Now I'm asking my colleagues in here to stand up for what is right. Let's not go back and step back into history. Let's do what is right. And stand up for people's rights. Take out of your mind the homophobia. Take out of your mind the civil union. Take out of your mind the question here. Are we violating the rights of people if we pass this resolution? As you say no to this resolution, I used to stand up on the rights that needed to stand up on. I asked those in this room to stand up, to look at me, and be able to say, okay, I wouldn't want your rights out there. I wouldn't want to see your children not be able to attend the school. I wouldn't want to have the National Guard walk in and have to walk your babies into a school again. Because we don't want to go back on the road. Because I will have proven a difference. I will have been the leader. I will have been the one to step forward and say, we're not going to discriminate. I will even before Brown versus the Board of Education said that the children have a right to go to school. I'm saying we have 